The Ruger Security 380. Let's check it out. So when I think of a 380 pistol, what comes to mind is a micro subcompact similar to the Ruger LCP. Very easy to conceal, but with that small size does come some disadvantages. It is a little bit harder to shoot, even though it is a smaller caliber in the 380. With that small frame, it can be hard to control, especially for new shooters. So Ruger came out with this Security 380, similar to the Security 9 that they have previously come out with, but this is actually smaller and lighter and in that 380 caliber. So it comes in a standard cardboard box. You get your owner's manual, you get the pistol itself, you get a mag loader, you get one 15 round magazine, you get another 10 round magazine with a pinky extension, you get a flat base plate if you wanna change this one out, and then you get your gun lock. So unlike the Ruger LCP or any 380 models that size, this is a compact model. It is not a subcompact or micro compact. It is a step down from a full size pistol. So it is going to be a little bit beefier and thicker, but with that comes more ease of shooting, has more weight to help reduce that recoil. And it does come with their light rack system. So similar to the Smith & Wesson EZ, where it takes really nothing to move the slide, with this gun, it's super easy to rack as well. The overall length of the gun is 6.52 inches. The barrel length is 3.42 inches. The slide width is 1.02 inches with a height of 4.35 inches. The barrel does have a one in 10 twist and the gun unloaded weighs 19.7 ounces. The slide material is a hardened alloy steel with a black oxide finish. So it does have kind of a nicer, shinier finish than some of their other models. The barrel is made out of alloy steel, also with that black oxide finish. So starting with the sights, the front sight is a green fiber optic sight, really easy to pick up. You'll see the rear sight does not have any dots on it, so it is just a blacked out steel sight, but it is drift adjustable. And it does come with a manual thumb safety on the slide, as well as a safety on the trigger right here that has to be depressed in order for it to fire. To actuate the rear safety, you actually press it from the rear. Instead of pressing it from the forward position, like other pistols, you actually press it from the rear to actuate it. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. Usually you could just flip it up like this, but with this model, you actually have to flick it at the rear. So you'll see on the slide here, it does have rear slide serrations and a little bit on the front side here. With that light rack system, it does have a lighter recoil spring allowing for the easy manipulation of the slide. And then there are pronounced caulking ears right here and at the back right here to give you something to really grip onto to rack that slide. So it does not take much force to rack this, which makes it very similar to the Smith & Wesson Easy Pistol. You'll see up here at the top, there is a loaded chamber indicator to notify you that there is a round in the chamber. On the side here, you do have your takedown pin and then you do have your magazine release right here, which is a smaller metal magazine release. So it does take some getting used to on this. It's not quite as big as some other guns that you might be used to. And it doesn't stick out quite as far as some other ones as well. But the mag does drop freely. At the front of the frame, you'll see it has three slots right here for a rail. So if you do want to mount a light or anything, you can mount it up here on the frame. You do have a little bit of texture on the front of the trigger guard, and it does have that cut out around the trigger guard by the handle right there. You do get a little bit of grip texture on all sides of the grip here. It's not too aggressive, but it is enough to make you feel like you do get control of it but I would like to see it a little bit more aggressive because if your palms are sweaty, the gun may slide around a little bit. There are no finger grooves like you see in some guns like the Glock models, but with this 15 round magazine with the extension on it, you do get a full grip on it. And then if you put the 10 round magazine in there with that peaky extension, you still get a full grip on it. It gives you a lot of controllability, but I just like the way it feels with that 15 rounder in there. So looking at the trigger, like I mentioned, it does have the safety right there that has to be depressed in order for it to fire. And there is a trigger stop at the back of the trigger guard right there. So we'll see what the trigger pulls like. So here's your take up right here. Then you hit that wall, little force, and then it clicks. And then the reset, about right there. So you have about that much take up the trigger and see it does stop on that trigger stop right there. Rack it. 
you'll hear that audible reset. And on the back of the slide here, you'll see where it does have that internally fired hammer. So to field strip this gun, we're gonna go ahead and make sure it's unloaded, which it is. Drop your magazine if you haven't already. And then we're gonna line up this cutout in the slide with the takedown pin right here. And then if you have a punch, you can punch it out through the other end or just grab it and pull it out. And then you can slide the frame off of the slide. You do not have to pull the trigger like some other guns. Go ahead and take that recoil spring out and then pull the barrel out of the slide. And that's about as far down as you will ever have to take this gun to do your general cleaning and maintenance. And taking a look at the slide, you'll see that there is a lot of material cut out here. And that is to lighten the weight of the slide to give it that light rack system. On the barrel here, you'll do see it does have kind of like a bull nose on the end that helps it keep locked in the slide. Taking a look at the frame, you'll see it does have the slide rails that go all the way instead of having just sections of it. So this also aids in that light rack system. And then you can see where that internal hammer is right there. So put this thing back together. We're just gonna reverse that process we did. So we're gonna go ahead and take our slide, drop in our barrel, take your recoil spring guide rod, Get that in there. Do you want it sitting on the barrel just like that? Line it up with the frame, slide it back. And then we're gonna slide it back to where we can go ahead and insert the takedown pin. The flat part on the pin will go down facing the frame. And just snaps right back in there and you're good to go. And just for a size comparison, I wanted to bring in the Hellcat Pro. Even though this is nine millimeter, it is pretty comparable in size. Look at the length here. It is pretty similar. The slide on the Ruger is a little bit thicker. Again, you have a striker fired on the Hellcat Pro, hammer fired on the Security 380. And here's a side view with the Hellcat Pro on top, side view with the Security 380 on top. So with that extended 15 round magazine, the Hellcat Pro also has a full size grip with a 15 round magazine as well. So these are pretty identical in size. But with the Hellcat Pro, you get that standard slide that's a little bit tougher. It takes a little bit more force to rack it. Whereas the 380, super easy. The Security 380 is a great gun for beginners or somebody that may not be able to rack a slide on a full size pistol or regular pistol, if, or maybe you have arthritis or something. This makes it super easy to rack the slide with minimal effort. It's gonna give you that confidence. You need to comfortably rack the slide and clear any malfunctions if you need to. Having that double stack 15 round magazine gives you a full grip on this thing, so you're gonna feel comfortable shooting it, you're gonna get a good grip on it to help you with that accuracy, and then also reduce that recoil to help you stay on target. And they do make state compliance models of these if you don't live in a free state, unfortunately. So they do have that option where they come with only 10 round magazines. But if you live in a free state, you can get the one with this 15 round mag. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down in that comment section. If you have one of these or have fired it, let us know your experience, what you do and don't like about this gun down in the comment section as well. And if you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and check out this other playlist here where we go over some more firearms.